everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video i hope you are all well and having a good week today's video is a home updates video so we've done a few little updates around our house and i thought you guys might like to see what we have done nothing too major just swapping a few little bits um, out uh, getting a few new ornaments we have done a bit of a bigger change in this room in our lounge which I'm also going to be sharing with you so if you would like to see our home updates then please continue to watch so I've got some pictures to share with you to start off the video I have been kindly gifted some pictures from Decenio. I'm sure you will all know about Decenio. They are absolutely fantastic. They have so many different types of wall art on there, all the different styles you can think of. They also sell frames as well in black, white, wood, metal, and they always have all the latest trends on there as well. I noticed that they have also got a recommended by Mrs. Hinch section on there as well now. So loads and loads of beautiful pictures on there. Something to suit every taste and every style. So like I say, they have kindly sent me a few pictures. So I'm going to be uh, putting some of them in the frames and hanging them. So the ones that I'm going to do that, I will save. I won't show you those ones because I'm going to show you those on the wall when we actually put them up. But there is some that I ordered for our son Harvey and he, he's going to have them um, in his uh, room. So I will show you those ones. So many different styles on there, like I say. So Harvey's chosen this one, which is really nice, quite neutral. Um, Harvey quite likes all his neutral colours as well. I love this one. How nice is that? Just reminds you of being on holiday. I think that one's really nice. That's going to look really good on his wall. And then what else did he choose? Oh, yeah, that one again, again, it, it matches the first one. And then this one, he chose this large one. How beautiful is that? Just really neutral, natural colours. Like I say, they, they have got lots of different styles on there to suit every colour, every taste, every style. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, put the prints that are for our house in the frames, get them up on the wall. I'll show you those and then we'll go around and show you the rest of the um, bits that we've updated in the house. Decenio are kindly offering my viewers a massive 35% off their prints. This can be used on all the prints except hand-picked and personalised prints. All the other prints you can get a massive 35% off if you use my code Emma's Lifestyle X Decennium. I'll put the code on the screen now and I will also add all the links and the discount code in the description box below. The code expires at 23.59 on the 18th of October. So to get your 35% off, make sure you have ordered and used the code by then. 23.59 on the 18th of October. start by replacing the one that we have going up our stairs so I'm taking the old one down because that doesn't really match now with the decor that we've got and I'm putting up the new one I absolutely love this print um, I'll show you a close-up of it in a minute um, it actually matches the one that we have got on our landing on our bit that we call the reading area i'll show you that later on in the video but they both match they're both obviously from decennium and i absolutely love them now i'm going to change the one in our spare bedroom which we use as a dressing room 
So I picked this nice leafy one with gold and green on. Um, we've got a few gold bits in this room, so I thought this one would match and the white frame to match with the white that goes around our mirror as well. Next we're moving to our bedroom and I'm just swapping out one of the pictures and putting our new one in its place. All of these pictures actually were from Decennia, um, the three that were above the bed and then obviously the new black leaf one. I have to say I'm so pleased with all of my prints from Decennio. Thank you to them for collaborating with me on this part of today's video. So I'm going to start off in the hallway. So this is what it looks like at the minute and we're just going to change a few bits and bobs in here. So the first thing that I'm going to get rid of is this doormat, the grey doormat. This was from the range and as you can see it says welcome to the palace uh, but it is quite grubby, it's got some dirty marks on and I can't get it clean um, so that's going to go. I'm going to get rid of all the grey out of the hall. This rug is also going to go because you might be able to see on the camera this has also got some dirty marks on and it won't come clean. I'm getting rid of the coat stand so as you can see I've already taken all the coats off of it so that's going to go. And then I'm swapping Bentley's basket. So this is where Bentley keeps all of his toys. And I bought a set of two new baskets from the range. So they're going to go there and replace um, that basket that's there. So on this wall here where the coat stand is, we've got some wooden hooks. So we're going to put those there. And then on the wooden hooks, we're going to hang some storage baskets, some hanging baskets. And in the baskets, we're going to put scarves, hats and gloves um, and keep them in there. We've got a cubby hole in the downstairs toilet where we can hang the coat. So we're just going to put the uh, bits and bobs in the hanging baskets um, on this wall here. So I'm just going to take out all of the old bits and then give the hall a good clean. So I'm just going to go over it with the hoover and then the mop and then get our new bits in. As always, Bentley is by my side, wondering what I'm doing. He didn't want to let this rug go, as you can see. Um, but he's got plenty of baskets to lie in, so he really doesn't need that. And put our new rug down. I'm just doing a little bit of touching up here with the paint, as where the coat stand had been, it had left a few um, scratches and marks on. So just going over it with the paint, just to cover up any, any bits. putting the hooks together now for the storage baskets, the hanging baskets to um, hang on. So here it is now. So I'll just give you a closer look. So the rug um, was from Dunelm. It comes in different sizes. This size was £75 and the doormat matches it again from Dunelm and this was, I think it was about £10. So just uh, coming closer you can really see um, what it's like close up. And then the storage basket came as a set of two from the range. I think it was £10 for the two. And you got this one and then a smaller one that comes up to about there. So this is the larger of the two that I've put Bentley's toys in. This is the um, wooden hooks from, these are from JISC. 
um, and the hanging baskets, um, they're actually from Amazon for the pack of two. And as you can see, um, they're quite deep and they've got um, leather straps. And then the two that I actually bought from Jusk, I bought another two hanging baskets from Jusk. I think it was only four pounds each. And I'm going, actually, I'll show you where I've put those. I've put those in the utility room. But these hanging baskets, they were from Amazon. And I think they were £9 or £10 for the pack of two. And then I've got some more hooks. <laughs> the same hooks. And then these two baskets are the ones from Jusk. They say home. If you can see that there, they're slightly different. They were £4 each. The hanging plant was also from there. That was only £3.50. So I've put that in there. And then we're just going to put sunglasses and keys in that one. So this is obviously in our utility room near the back door. So I've actually just decided to put both baskets down. I said I'd got the smaller one. They came as a set of two uh, because he can actually get to his toys better if I split them up between the two. So I've actually put both of them there now. So now we are on our landing and we have altered this little bit here. So we call this the reading corner. And if you saw um, a previous home tour, you will have seen that we had a chaise long here, a little pink chaise long. So we have relocated that into Kaya's bedroom and just altered a few bits. So this is the picture that matches the one that I've just shown you on the stairs. This is obviously on our landing. So that was from Decenio and I ordered that last time and they both match now so I'm really pleased with uh, both of those pictures this one's obviously a bit smaller you can't see very well because of the light shining on it and then the table that was from Jusk and that was £45 and then um, the lamp that was from um, a previous B&M haul and that was a bargain it was only £15 I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that lamp absolute bargain I think for that price the vase was from Ikea and it was less than a pound the picks inside the vase were from the range and they're my autumnal picks um, with pumpkins on and things there's three in there I think from the range and then the book um, that was from Amazon and then the chair I think that was from the range and it's got the gold legs on to match the lamp and then the cushion I already had um, I'm really pleased with the chair so that's the reading corner next I'm going to do the plant so bought this artificial olive tree this was 49.99 from Home Bargains and then I'm going to put it in this storage basket with handles. This was from the range. So I'm going to lift it up and put it on just some boxes. Then I'm going to put these around the side to uh, stop it from uh, wobbling about. And then I'm going to put a cardboard disc, cut out a cardboard disc. And then I've got some pebbles, white pebbles. These were from Amazon. I think each pack was about £8. And I think I'm going to need two packs. So I bought two packs of those. So they're going to go around the top. Um, the plant has got, it is in this grey part, and it has got artificial little brown sort of pebbles around the top. But I wanted to put the white ones on. So I'm just going to get this done now, and I'll show you how I do it as I go along. So I'm going to put these um, pack this packaging in. So it's just what came in one of my deliveries. Anything just to lift the plant up because it's too low down in the basket without it being slightly lifted up. So I'm going to put those in the bottom of there, and then I'm going to put the artificial tree in. See if it's about the right size, like um, how far up it is in the basket, and I think that's about right. Um, because it's a bit under where the handles, the bottom of the handle here, it's a bit under that. Um, so I think that's about the right height, height for it, I think. Then I'm going to put these around the side just to keep it from moving about, from wobbling about from side to side. You could use anything. You could use um, plastic bags or uh, pebbles maybe, uh, anything, newspaper. 
you can probably use anything really just to pad it up. I mean, I've got loads of these, but I don't think it's going to take many. And then I'm going to cut out a disc uh, circle from this cardboard with a hole in just for the tree. And then I'm just going to place it on the top so it's level. all finished so I'll just move you in a little bit closer so you can properly see the basket and the pebbles this is going to go in the lounge so now we'll start on there and I'll talk you through what we're having done right okay so here is the lounge so as you can see we've already started work on it so we've just cleared everything out and then we're building this bit out to make a chimney breast so in the top bit there, the TV is going to go on the wall and then the fire, which we've already got on the wall there, that's just the front of the fireplace, had to be taken off to build the chimney breast out. And then either side of that, we're going to have panelling. So there's markings on the wall ready for the panelling to go up. So yeah, really excited to get this done. I will give you an update again tomorrow night. So as you can see, um, a little bit more has been done. The panelling is starting to take shape. And here it is, all finished. I'm really, really pleased with it. So I'll just walk you around. We've still got a couple of other bits to do. I'm going to order some more pictures from Decennium and I'm going to swap out these pictures here. Um, but that is the new sideboard so we bought that online i really like the color of the wood on that and then i've got all my uh, my laptop and bits and bobs in the drawers so they're out of sight the tray is what i already had it used to be on the mirrored tables that used to be in the corner here the lamp is what i showed you on my last haul from b and i really like that because i think it ties in the beige with the gray uh, because of the colours on the base there. And then my panelling. I'm really, really pleased with that. So it's exactly the same. So I've got three across and three down, if you know what I mean, on each side. And then we've had the little bit of the chimney breast built out. And then we've got the new TV. My fire is the same. I've got the matching rug that goes with the rug in the hall and also the doormat in the hall. So because quite often we do have these doors open, I've shut them now for filming because Richard and Bentley are in the kitchen. Uh, but we do quite often have these double doors open, in fact, most of the time. So I just wanted it to all flow through with the same rugs. Obviously, the settee is the same and my... Uh, little proofe thing <laughs> and um, Bentley's dog bed is the same and then I've got my throw in my wicker basket and then that is the tree that you've seen me uh, do already so that is our updated living room so yeah I'm really pleased with it just um, a few bits just to um, make it a little bit more modern perhaps a little bit more up to date and yeah just um, a nice little refresh so that's it for today's video i really hope you have enjoyed watching if you would like to check out any of the wall art that decenio have on offer then please click on the link in the description box and don't forget to use the code to get you 35 percent off and don't forget to use it before 23.59 on the 18th of october 
I've got lots of videos coming up on my channel. I've got a really nice giveaway coming up very soon. So make sure you look out for that in one of my upcoming videos. It is a designer Teddy Blake handbag. And I thought it would make a nice uh, giveaway for my subscribers um, for an early Christmas present to yourself. <laughs> Because we always like Christmas presents to ourselves as well. Or we should do. We should like to treat ourselves as well. Not just everybody else. So a gorgeous designer handbag giveaway coming your way. And lots more as well. Another Primark come shop. Primark haul. And carrying on with my Christmas come shop with me's as well. Around all the shops. And as always put any ideas forward. And I always try my best to film them. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your evening. Take care and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.